Hello, my name is Alicia Wilfert. I am the founder of Yoke and Abundance and I am a life coach. I work with creatives, makers, seekers, entrepreneurs, and professionals who are looking to get the most out of life. Today we are talking about the importance of knowing where you are to know where you're going. So a few years back, I was out on a camping trip and I was with a friend and we looked at the map and we thought we were heading towards a certain waterfall and a hike that should have taken about an hour ended up taking about three. We got a little lost, it was nothing scary, but it took us a while to get to where we were trying to go. And it turned out that the map we had was not correct. And so we were not, we didn't know where we were. So of course we couldn't figure out where we were going. I see this happen so often with my clients. If someone is feeling stuck, if someone feels like they were, they're out of alignment, if they feel like something is off and really no matter the reason a client comes to me, it's really important for us to know where we are so we can figure out even where we want to go. We need to take stock and do an assessment of where we are to find out where we're going so we won't spend two extra hours lost in the woods, right? So one of the very first exercises that I do with a brand new client is something called the wheel of life. Now, the wheel of life looks something like this. See, so it is a we an actual wheel with different elements of our life. So on the wheel of life that I use, I've got home, career, family, physical well-being and health, love and romantic life, spiritual fulfillment, philanthropy, greater impact, finances, dreams and what i mean by dreams are like my dreams for the future and creative life now you could insert anything so if one of those categories didn't resonate with you you could cross it off and put something there that might feel a little bit more fulfilling so for instance instead of um creative life you might have parenting you know whatever it is you'll make it your own and then you'll rate each one on a scale of one to 10. I say one, it's in the toilet. 10 is so great it could have its own Instagram account. Now, the goal here is not for them to all be 10s. That's unrealistic. Everything in our life has its own season. When one season, it's summer, another season, another category might be in winter. That's fine. It's not realistic, nor is it ideal to have all of those in 10 at the same time. So once you take a look and assess where you are, it's really giving you the, um, the map of you are here. It's the you are here map, right? When before you start a hike, before you begin a journey, you know where you are so that you can decide where it is that you actually want to go. So what I have found is that when clients do this particular exercise, this one seemingly simple exercise can have a tremendous amount of impact because you might see that certain areas of your life are actually way better than you thought they, they were. And in some, they're nowhere near as good as you thought they were. I think it's important to look really holistically at each of these areas. So not just giving them a number per se, but also taking some time then on the next page for each of those areas to write one thing that's going really well in that area and one thing that's not going well at all. And by doing this, you it gives you a more holistic view of what's happening within your life on the you are here map this is a perfect place to start for anybody looking to do a little bit of growth or personal development work this one seemingly simple exercise alone can lead to breakthroughs and ahas like you would not believe 
So give it a try. Check out the link in the description below and download your worksheet from me. Then if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the red subscribe button and pass it on to a friend. Thanks for being here today.